Today, we're going to look at an important event in Islamic history, the conversion of Umar bin al-Khattab. Umar, a name that's remembered throughout history, was once one of the biggest enemies of Islam. He was really against the religion and its founder, Muhammad, and didn't like Muslims at all. Umar wasn't just against Islam, he also caused a lot of trouble for the early Muslims. His dislike for Islam was so strong that he even planned to kill Muhammad to stop the spread of Islam. He started this plan not knowing the big change that was about to happen in his life. Umar, who was once known for hating Islam, would soon go through a big change. One day, Umar Radzi Allahu Anhu decided to harm Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This was a big decision. Umar was one of the biggest enemies of Islam and the Prophet. He hated the Prophet as much as own uncle Abu Jahal, who also didn't like Islam. Full of hatred, Umar left his home with this dangerous plan. It was near the end of the year 6 of the proclamation, when Muslims used to gather in Arkham bin Abi al-Arkham's house for group prayers. A Muslim saw Umar coming towards the house with a sword. Everyone became scared. But one man, Hamza Razi Allahu Anhu, was brave. He told everyone that if Umar was coming with good intentions, they didn't have to be afraid. If Umar wanted to harm them, Hamza would protect them, even using Umar's sword if needed. Everyone in the house was anxious and waited nervously, hoping for safety. But Umar didn't want to harm them. Fate had something else in store for Umar. His life was about to change and it would greatly affect Islam. They didn't know that Umar, who disliked them, was about to become an important person in Islamic history. On his way to carry out his plan, Umar was stopped by a stranger. A surprise meeting that would change everything. This stranger, Nuim, quickly told Umar something that shocked him. His own sister and her husband had become Muslims. As Umar thought about this surprising news, Nuim asked him to think about what could happen if he continued with his plan. He warned, Do you think the Banu Abd Manaf would let you go if you killed their son Muhammad? This was a reminder of how closely tied the Quraysh were and that revenge would be sure to follow such a terrible act. But it wasn't just the threat of revenge that made Umar stop and think. His sister's conversion to Islam was a shock he couldn't ignore. It showed him how much influence this new religion was gaining even within his own family. New Aim's words with him. Why don't you go back and fix things at your own house? These words affected him. Could his sister have left their old religion? And if so, why? Angry and curious, Umar changed his direction. He was no longer going to the house of Arkham. Muslims met. Instead, he was going to his sister's house a place that had come to represent the big changes happening in Quraysh society. He wanted to know, had his sister really become a Muslim? And if so, why? He was determined to find out why this new religion had attracted his family. For now, the house of Arkham, which he had once planned to attack, was forgotten. Angry and curious, Umar now had a new place to go, his sister's house. A place where he would discover unexpected truth about his family's religious changes. This was a turning point, not only in his life but also in the story of Islam. When Umar arrived at his sister's house, he found a situation he didn't see. The house was quiet and there was a strange feeling in the air. Umar, known for his strong personality and quick temper, was surprised by the, his sister, usually friendly and warm, seemed a bit nervous. She looked around the room, her voice shaking as she said hello. Umar knew something wasn't right. He noticed a pile of papers that looked like they had been quickly put away, like they were hiding something. Wanting to know what they were, he asked his sister about them. She tried to avoid his question, but Umar wouldn't let it go. He asked again, raising his voice and getting angrier. The room felt even more tense, like a fight was about to break out. His sister finally showed him the papers, which had verses from the Quran on them. These were the same verses that Umar had been against the words that he and other non-believers had called nonsense. But now, they were right here, in his sister's house. The surprise was huge. His sister and her husband, who Umar cared about a lot, had joined the religion he was against. Umar felt a lot of different things. Anger, confusion, the feeling of being lied to. But he didn't realize that this moment would change his life forever. In all his anger, he didn't see how powerful the words on those papers were. They talked about peace, working together and kindness. These words were starting to change his mind without him even knowing it. This moment would be the start of Umar's big change. In an unexpected twist, Umar, once a strong enemy, decided to follow Islam. 
This amazing event completely changed the history of Islam. Umar, known for being against Islam, planned to kill Muhammad. But while on his way, he met a person who told him that his sister and her husband had become Muslims. This news made Umar very angry. He immediately went to his sister's house. There, he found his sister and her husband studying a from the Quran. They hid their study materials because they sensed Umar's bad intentions, but he became suspicious. In the tense conversation that followed, his sister's answer made him more interested in Islam. Something amazing happened next. Umar asked to see the hidden papers. When he read them, he was touched by their message. The verses from the Quran made him question his old beliefs. This new understanding made him his mind. Umar went back to meet Muhammad, but this time he wanted to join Islam, not destroy it. Standing before Muhammad, he announced that he was becoming a Muslim. This shocked everyone there. The decision of Umar, who was a big enemy of Islam, to become a follower was a huge event. It gave strength and hope to other Muslims and made their belief even stronger. His change from being against to accepting Islam shows how faith can change a person. So, Umar's decision to follow Islam was a very important event in Islamic history. The story of how Umar Razi Allahu Anhu became a Muslim has a big impact on Islamic history. He used to be against Islam, but when he became a devoted follower, it was a turning point for the early Muslims. His change of heart not only gave hope to the struggling believers, but also served as a strong warning to the Quraysh and other anti-Islam groups. Umar Razi Allahu Anhu's bravery, intelligence and leadership would play a big role in the future. He was a symbol of fairness. He was known for sticking to the rules of Islam and always putting the well-being of the Muslim community first. His influence reached far beyond his lifetime and helped shape the Islamic civilization. From strengthening the Muslim community to his time as the second caliph, his legacy continues to motivate others. Umar Razi Allahu Anhu's journey from being against Islam to a devoted follower shows the power of faith. As we learn more about the life of Umar Razi Allahu Anhu, it becomes essential to know more about the religion he followed. Before we end, let's share some interesting things about Islam. Islam is the second biggest religion in the world. More than 1.8 billion people or about 24% of all people in the world follow Islam. It started in a place called Mecca when the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century. The Quran is the special book for Muslims and it took 23 years to reveal everything in it. This book is a guide for how to behave, laws and what's normal in society. There are five pillars in Islam. Shahada, faith, salat, prayer, zakat, charity, psalm, fasting during Ramadan and Hajj going to Mecca. These pillars are the base of a Muslim's life and they highlight the balance between physical, spiritual and social duties. These facts give us a look into the rich world of Islamic tradition and belief, a faith that Umar Razi Allahu Anhu stood for strongly. After learning about Umar Razi Allahu Anhu's life and Islam in general, it's crucial to understand how important Umar Razi Allahu Anhu was for the history of Islam and how it grew. He was known for being a strong leader, being fair and having good management skills. During his time as the second leader of Islam, the Islamic empire grew a lot. His changes in how the government was run, the justice system and how people were looked after have influenced the Islamic civilization even today. Umar Razi Allahu Anhu was very important in setting up a good legal system, promoting education and building a strong army. He was also humble, often going out at night to listen to his people and help those who needed it. Umar Razi Allahu Anhu's life and dedication to Islam's principles are a source of inspiration for Muslims everywhere. His influence is still felt today, showing the real essence of Islam, a religion of peace, fairness and kindness.